Good morning, children. Hope everyone is fit and fine. Today we are going to continue with our topic, active and passive voice. We had already started it in the last video and I am sure by now you are quite sure which sentence is in active voice and which is in passive voice. Active voice, when the subject of the verb acts, the verb is said to be in the active voice. In other words, when we focus on the doer or the person who is doing an action, it is said to be in active voice. Passive voice, when the object of the active voice becomes the subject, the verb is said to be in the passive voice. Example, he has done his work. We are focusing on the subject he, so it is in active voice. Now, what will this sentence be in passive voice? His work has been done by him. Now the object of the active voice becomes the subject and so it is said to be in passive voice. Now let us look again at some rules for changing sentences from active to passive voice. First, the object of the active verb is made the subject of the passive verb. Then the subject of the active verb is made the object of some preposition. Generally the preposition by is used. Sometimes there may be some other preposition as well. The verb of the active voice gets the past participle form of the finite verb and some of the verb to be. Some vague and indefinite subjects like everyone, they, people, someone, these are dropped and the tense of the verb does not change. Now what happens, as I told you, the pronouns have to be changed accordingly when we are changing a sentence from active to passive voice. Now what I have to remember is that the pronouns when these act as subjects are changed as the following tells us. I becomes me, we becomes us, you remains you, she becomes her, he becomes him, they becomes them, it remains it, who becomes whom. Now two words you have to keep in mind to pronounce which remain the same and which don't change. First one is you and the second one is it. You and it remain the same. There is no change in them. There are some sentences that don't change when we change the sentence from active to passive voice. I hope everyone remembers that there are 12 tenses. We have done it in the previous class as well as this class. So out of these 12 types of tenses or 12 tenses, there are four types of sentences that cannot be changed to passive voice. And what are those four types? Present perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense, future continuous and future perfect continuous tense. These do not change and we cannot change them to passive voice. So you must remember these four past, present and future perfect continuous 
and future continuous. Now some tense rules. We have to see and remember these rules by heart. And when it is time to change something from active to passive, we have to remember these rules and apply these rules while changing. Now, I'll read the rules. Simple present tense changes into is, am, are plus past participle form of the verb. Now let us take an example. He plays cricket. In which tense is this sentence? Plays tells us that it is in simple present tense. Now when I have something in simple present tense, it will change into is, am, are plus past participle of that word. So cricket is played by him. Now the second tense rules. Simple past tense changes into was, were plus past participle. For example, he played cricket. Now as you can see and the word played tells us that it is in simple past tense. Now, if I want to change it to the passive voice, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. And it will change to was, were plus past participle. So, here we have cricket was played by him. Third tense rule. Simple future tense changes into shall be, will be plus past participle. For example, active voice, mother will cook desserts. And as you can say, will cook, in which tense is this sentence? This sentence is in simple future tense. Now, if it is possible to change it, please change it. Desserts will be cooked by mother. Desserts will be cooked by mother. Today, we have seen the rules which we have to apply while changing a sentence from one that is active voice to the passive voice. First we have to see in which tense it is. Then remember what happens when a sentence is active and then we want to change it to passive. So you'll have to remember and learn these by heart and then learn to apply these rules. Now, let us see what happens when a sentence is in continuous tense. If it is in present continuous tense, it changes into am being, is being or are being plus past participle. For example, you are writing a poem is in present continuous tense and active voice. Now, if I want to change it to passive voice, then how will I change it? A poem is being written by you. Is being written because is, are or am being plus past participle of writing which is written. So, in passive voice, it is going to be a poem is being written by you. Now, what happens if a sentence is in past continuous tense? Past continuous tense changes into was, were, being plus past participle. So, if we have the sentence, they were eating breakfast in active voice, 
How is it going to change? Breakfast was being eaten by them. Because we have to use was or were plus being plus the past participle form of the verb. So they were eating breakfast. Changes to breakfast was being eaten by them. Sentences in which the active subject is understood easily from the content have to be added to the sentences while changing the voice. In the passive voice, sometimes you remove the subject. But then when you are changing it to active, then that subject has to be understood and added. For example, passive the matter will be discussed tomorrow. Now when I am changing it to active, then I must understand and add that. So I will have the management will discuss the matter tomorrow. So in passive, many a times we leave the subject because it is not so important. But if we are changing it to active, then I have to understand it and add it. When the verb commands an action, now we have come to imperative sentences. That is, you may have a command or a request. So, when the verb commands an action by expressing order, advice or request, it takes the word let in the passive voice. So, you have to start the sentence with the word let. Now let us see. Active voice sentence. Hand me those bottles. Now when you have this command. Hand me those bottles. How will it change? Let those bottles be handed to me. Let those bottles be handed to me. But. When the imperative sentence begins with please or kindly, that means it is a polite request, the passive sentence takes the words you are requested. Now very simple example, very easy one is please take care. And what will it be in the passive voice? You are requested to take care. Now, if we have, please go there, then how will you change to passive voice? You are requested to go there. Now, these were the rules which we have done. And there are very, very many more which we may do in the coming lessons and videos. But these were the few important ones. Now we come to exercise C1 from our real English book and C3 lesson 11 which was homework and we are going to discuss the answers. C1 was that you had to use the correct forms of the verbs in brackets to complete the following recipe for a mango shake. Now some words were given in brackets. You had to use those in the correct form and of course in the passive voice to complete this recipe for a mango shake. Please take out page 73. Open on the page where you have exercise C1. Take a pencil in hand to correct your work. Now let us start. One cup of chopped mangoes is put into a blender. So the words you had to fill in is put. It is churned till it becomes smooth. So in the bracket you will have two words is churned. Two glasses of cold sweetened milk are stirred into the mango pulp. Now here why are we using are instead of is? Because 
two glasses means more than one. It is a plural word. So, R stirred and stirred will have double R. So, the spelling should be S-T-I-R-R-E-D. Got it? Now, the next sentence. The mixture is churned again. Is churned is again used in this practice. In this blank from the bracket four ice cubes again four ice cubes is a plural or more than one so four ice cubes are added to the mixture and churned again the mango shake is garnished now mango shake is a singular one so is garnished with dry fruits before it dash in glasses before it is served in glasses. Now if you have checked your work and all the answers are correct, please tick your answers and if you think some answer is wrong or a word is wrong, just circle it and write the correct one. Now we come to C3. C3 is something very very interesting. Good Health Hospital wishes to put up notices with the following messages. Writes the notices in the passive voice. They have some messages. They want to give message to the people who come there. And so you are supposed to write notices in the passive voice. An example is given. Saving water. And what is the notice in the passive voice? Water should be, should not be wasted. Water has become the subject here. Now let us take the first one and just check what you have written. Not to use loudspeakers here. Now the answer I am going to give and which is here is the correct one but if you have something else but you have started your sentence with the word loudspeakers and it means the same then also you tick your answer so what is the answer loudspeakers should not be used here and this is in passive voice now the second one playing music in low volume. They want people who visit the hospital to play music in low volume. So what are we going to write in passive voice? Music should be played in low volume. Music should be played in low volume. Now the third one. Ban on use of plastic bags, which we hear very often these days. So it should be very easy for you. How will we frame a sentence or change the voice? Plastic bags banned here or plastic bags must not be used here. Plastic bags banned here. Plastic bags must not be used here. Now the fourth and the last one, use of dustbins. They want people to use dustbins. So how will we frame or draft a notice and write something in passive voice? Dustbins should be used to throw litter. It should start with the word dustbin. So dustbins should be used to throw litter. That is all in today's video children. Thank you. Have a nice day. Till we meet again with another interesting video. Take care.